welcome to our class. Today I will make us look at the organization and the control of, of these records. So under this topic we are going to look at filing and storage of records. Now that's we start with the divination of filing. Filing is an act of keeping and classifying records so that they can be produced quickly when they are needed. records so that they can be produced quickly when they are required so records are arranged in a certain order and then kept in files or folders so these records are arranged they must be arranged records are arranged in a certain order And then kept in files. All folders. Now what's a file? So a file is a, a kind of cover which documents are kept in an order. systematic way. So in most organizations or you can say all business records are connected with the handling of mails, we have office correspondency, we have telegraphic services, postal services, banking services, purchases and sales, we have so keeping, receipt and payment of cash, financial statements, all those documents, all business documents, are kept in a file. Let us look at the purpose of filing. So we have said filing is an essential part of an office work. So it is very important in any organization to have it. The purposes of filing is to keep the office tidy. Keep the office tidy. Another purpose is to keep the document secure in a good condition. documents secure in good conditions. Another purpose is to is to help in filing documents quickly. File documents quickly and easily. Uh, 
or you want them for reverence. Another function or another purpose of workings, you can say to gather related documents together in one suitable file. So in order to achieve the, the above or the, what we have discussed, the purpose of the firing, any firing system depends on the amount and the kind of correspondency is supposed to be filed. So for the firing to, to be a good one, we should have the following essential qualities. qualities of a good filing system. One, all records will be properly classified. records should be properly classified. The operation of the system should be simple. The operation of the system should be simple. And also paper should be easily filed and found. and found. Also, the paper should be protected from loss or damage. Another quality is that the system should be flexible. Or be flexible enough. should be flexible enough to meet the farm's requirements. Okay, let us look at the filing equipment. The equipment which we need when we are doing the filing. We have the folder itself. Folders, we can say files. Also, you need the fasteners and tags. You need the pepper punch. You can call it a punching machine. So 
we need a stapler. equipment which are required when you are filing let's look at the types of files we have so many files or file cover as you can look at a few of them, we have the river hub, okay, the river is that file which is used to secure papers on a two hard set metal, metal rods which open and close by lowering a lever. So in this file, only a, a single sheet can be removed and inserted. Another file, another type of file, is the one which we call the binder. So a ring binder is that file which you open by pulling open using the two first fingers of both the left and right hand. So we have the box file. The box file have a spring to keep the papers secure and the papers do not need to be punched. As they are, they, it doesn't have the prongs, it doesn't have the rings, it doesn't have the rod fasteners. It only has a spring to keep the papers secure. Then we have the concertina. Concertina file. This is a file which consists of a number of pockets or a gates connected together. So these pockets expand as more and more documents are inserted. So the, divi the divisions of the, the, of the pockets are labeled adapted alphabetically and the papers are filed in the pockets. Okay. So our next lesson we are going to look at the storage of files.